Brooklyn. We're at the groundbreaking of the Theater for a New Audience building. We've been working on this project along with a number of other projects in the Banff Cultural District. It's part of our plan to revitalize and expand the cultural offerings uh, to the people of downtown Brooklyn and the surrounding communities. And this is a, a critical part of, of that larger plan. And uh, we're really honored that EDC is going to be building this and we're going to make sure that the project is done on time and on budget. In 2000, when Theatre for New Audience, or an itinerant company, set out to build this theater on that parking lot, there were very, very, very few people who believed that that was possible. Yet, in 2013, that's about April 2013, about 21 months, that theater is going to be completed, and that's a culmination, and it's a beginning. We're strongly committed to improving and expanding our cultural institutions because they're so crucial to New York's quality of life. And they're also powerful magnets that help draw nearly 50 million visitors to New York every single year, visitors who spend $31 billion a year for our economy and support 320,000 jobs for New Yorkers. One of the things that makes Stefano incredibly special is that they're one of the few theatre companies in New York that really uh, work with Shakespeare on a continual basis. It's a real home for Shakespeare in New York. And the other thing that makes them special to me is that there's such a family um, feeling about this company. Um, they often work with people that they've worked with before. You get to um, collaborate with artists that you've worked with on other projects in the past. So it's incredibly um, intimate and um, exciting company to be part of because of that. It's incredibly important for Brooklyn and for New York as a whole because it's really not one home for classical theater, right? So it's, it's, a, it's a huge statement to, our, to the cultural diversity in Brooklyn and New York that this theater is coming from. And so it's a badge of honor, I think, for New York. It's Shakespeare done in a very uh, classical, graceful, wonderful way, very clear and very lucid. The productions are very inventive, and you know, for me, it's just really good to work at a theater that has such respect for the classics and has made it, you know, something so important to its goal. So now being here with this new theater going up, it's just going to enhance that, that reputation even more so. It is, not just the Shakespeare, but the classics, they are so freeing because they are so far from television and reality TV that they really open the imagination. And this theater here, with all the trouble of keeping the arts in the schools, this theater really does represent that link. Now, kids who saw my shows, your shows, 25 years ago aren't a new audience anymore. They are the audience. And, and I was thinking, I don't know another theater that has audience in its, in its title. And I think that's a wonderful name for a theater. If I've learned anything in 30 years of acting, particularly from the Globe Theater, which, which tried to pick up what Shakespeare himself would have wanted from a theater, it, it was this power that that architecture gave to the audience. And that we get very worried about whether what we're doing is right or wrong or whatever, but really theater happens in the audience. It happens in their imagination, in their heart, in their bodies in their senses. And to have that on the front of the theater and on every contract and every letter you send to artists like us, that this is theater for audience, it, it is, is a fantastic foundation and grounding. 